Welcome back to another video all about my Amazon journey. Today I want to quickly take you through the steps of how I find products, put them on my Amazon Seller Central, and into the box and ship to the Amazon warehouses. I'm just going to give you a basic overview of each step, so if there's anything that you want to see in more detail, please comment below. If you enjoy this type of content, I put out new videos each and every week, so please consider subscribing to my channel. Today we're going to be finding products online. The first thing you might want to get is Rakuten because there's a lot of sites that give you cash back and it'll tell you coupons. Next, you're gonna to wanna to find a website that's running some sales or promotions. So I found some number seven products here that are on sale on Walgreens. The first thing I'm gonna to wanna to do is go into Amazon to make sure I can sell this product. It's really important to check here to make sure that the item is not hazmat. Otherwise, you won't be able to sell it. So come down and click Seller Central button. We'll go over and select new since we're buying this new. And we're going to see if we can sell this. Now, since it brought us to the listing page, that means that we're on gated and we're good to go for selling this item. So now we're gonna go over to tactical arbitrage to source. So I put in the website name and then I copied and pasted the URL link. Next, I'm gonna go down and put in any discount codes or cash back offers. They're going to apply this to any of the products that they sell that they might be able to uh, find that they think is profitable for us and then run the search. Now these searches actually take a long time. It, it takes the software a bit to really run through all the items because there's so many to look through. Uh, this one in particular is only two pages long, but ones that are longer take even longer. I'm talking about hours and hours. So here I brought you to a page where I've already run the search. And you can see that it has the product from the store, the Amazon image. You want to make sure that it's the exact same. And then you can see the price you'll be paying, how many sell a month, how much profit you're making, your ROI, and then your graph to see where the buy box is and how many are selling. Next, you just order your products and they'll show up right at your door. Once you unpack your items, then you have to start listing them into Inventory Lab. You could just use Seller Central, but Inventory Lab saves you so much work because the format is so much easier to follow. So you're just going to put how many items that you ordered for your quantity, how much you paid each unit, And you'll also wanna put in where you purchased the item from. If there's an expiration date on the product, you'll wanna put that in there as well. If not, you'll just turn it off. Now next, you're gonna look over here. This tells you what you're listing the item for and what your profit's going to be, as well as your ROI. Then you will create the batch and your label will come up. Print them out, as many as you need for how many products that you ordered. I have the Dymo 550 label writer here. And then you're gonna wanna put your label over the barcode on the box because you don't want Amazon to scan their barcode. You want them to scan your barcode. Next, after your box is all packed, you need to weigh it. You'll input that and your box dimensions into your inventory lab. And then it's time to make sure you fill all of the extra space in your box as well so your products aren't moving around and getting damaged while being shipped. Tape the box up really well. And then smack your shipping label on it. Keep repeating this process until you have all of your boxes ready to send to Amazon.